You should get better guards, you know? The ones you currently have didn't even notice me slipping past them to get in here. Relax, put your sword away. I'm not here to kill you. <laughs> There's an irony to that, I suppose. Well, that's no way to greet an old friend, is it? I didn't immediately insult you when you walked in. Or point a sword at you. Put it away before you hurt yourself. Please. You can deny it all you want, but we were friends once. Very good friends who often... Oh, don't look so upset. I've never told anyone about what we used to get up to when we were younger. Your secret is safe with me. Of course, I have a reason for being here. Do you really think I would risk crossing into enemy territory just to antagonize you? You have a snake in your midst. Your inner circle has been infiltrated. Your betrothed... They are a pawn of my uncle. They've been tasked with killing you on your wedding night. This, this is not jealousy, your highness. This is simply me telling my old friend that the person that they are supposed to marry is their assassin. Fine, you don't have to believe me. I'll be sure to probably mourn for you once you're gone. I'll even send my condolences to your mother. Let go of me. I don't care if you're royalty. I can't still beat you if I need to. Let go of me. You want to know why I came here? Because for some insipid reason, I still care about you. The person who's supposed to be my enemy. The person who chose duty over me. I kept them. You know? All the letters you wrote me. All the trinkets you've given me. I even wear this ring you gave me around my neck. I came because I wanted to. Because I don't give a damn about your father and the men that serve him, but I... I'll take my leave now. Do what you want with this information. You won't see me again. Let go of me. Please. Let me go and you never hear from me again. Don't. I'll use this, I swear. Back off. I'd rather not cut your throat open after I just saved it. Fuck you. I hate you. I... We... We... We shouldn't... We shouldn't do this. God, I've missed how you feel. Pressed up against me. Take this shirt off. I need to feel you. Your neck. Your chest. I... I've missed putting my mouth on them. I... I forgot how long it's truly been since we were last like this. We... We've both changed so much. One day, when this is over, we should get up. I've missed you, you know? I, I won't do this with you. I can't. In case you've forgotten, we're still on opposing sides of this war. Put, put this back on. You're kind of 
distracting me now. My coming here doesn't make us friends again. It doesn't make us anything. Now move. Where the hell did you throw my knife? Excuse me? I risked everything to come warn you about your impending murder, and you have the audacity to call me a coward? Me. In case you've forgotten, I was the one who wanted to leave all of this behind us. I suggested we get on a ship and sail far, far away from here. They relieve the scrabbling to the old man in power. Do you remember what you told me? How you told me you refused to abandon your family? And yet, you call me a coward. I came here as a gesture, as someone who loves, loved you. Forget it. You've made it abundantly clear where your loyalties still lie. Don't come any closer to me. Don't. You're still an enemy. Tonight. Tomorrow. Next week, next month, next year. It doesn't matter. You're my enemy now. And you'll still be my enemy in the morning. I came to warn you, and I've done that. Congratulations on your engagement, Your Highness. Hopefully I'm wrong about your betrothed. I can't let anything happen to them. 